All right, guys, so today we got a couple transformers here. We just took out of a giant old, um, I don't even know what you call it. One of my friend's dad had a, uh, has a bunch of these boxes and um, I don't know if they're just like utility boxes or whatever, but it was for some software company. Anyways, took them apart and all these big transformers were in them and they're just, I mean, copper wire wrapped all around in these things. Oh, and there, and there, so. Pain in the butt to get to, but there's a lot of copper in here, so we're gonna take them apart and melt them down and see how much we can get out of them. All right, we just cut this thing off right there. Now, that's hot. Looks like we could just be able to pop this thing out, which is full of copper. Um, have to see that steel in there. Let's see what it looks like. But, it's looking good. I wanna say, so, so cause there's steel in the middle, obviously. Yeah. But, you should be able to peel this plate off. And then Just give it a couple taps and see how far Yep. Nice. Yep, I'm just going to see the copper now. That's the end. Don't do that. Put cast iron. Now, we got all this copper. I mean, it's pretty. Pretty thick too, so it's super thin. So, a lot. This is what we had earlier. This is one of those earlier. One pound exactly. This is the other one. This one should be at least twice as big. So, whew, it's rolled up. All right, now we gotta roll all this up. Issues at the end. That is a lot of copper. Big old roll right there. It's got some weight to it too. Wow. Alright guys, I did not get it on video, but these uh these two were connected as you can see in the beginning of the video and I just hammered the iron and it uh just broke apart pretty easily. So that's nice and easy. I'll just cut these off and then Unwind all the copper in there, peel off the glue and paper, and then that should be about it. All right, now I got all those transformers wrapped out and just lift up pure copper. So now I'm gonna roll them all up. All right, just finally got it all finished. That is the old part of the transformer and the glue and all the 
insulation stuff, and there's just the pure copper rolls. So we'll put them on a scale real quick, weigh them up, and then put them pile and melt them. All right, guys, let's check her out. All right, so after all that, looks like three pounds, seven ounces about. So that's pretty good. Got a couple new crucibles. And I think I'm just gonna use, hmm, let's use this one. It's eight kilogram, I'm gonna say. Hasn't been used yet, brand new. So we'll get her in and this is just gonna be copper only. That one's aluminum. And all these smaller ones, that's copper, brass, that's just like random stuff. I don't know what that is, but and those are two new ones too. So we're gonna use this and then actually that mold right there. But we'll go get her set up. Well, these aren't gonna fit super well, so I might have to hammer them down a bit and kind of flatten them out so I can get a couple in here. But. Now that we got all these hammered down and uh, more fittable sizes, we can just slide these on in. We're gonna use this mold. And you get scale. Um, it's inside, I'll grab it. Once you pour them. Yeah. There we go. The last piece.
That's not great. All right, guys, the final product here. This is what we got from melting down all the transformers. Two saw bars of copper right there. So get the scale out and weigh them and shine them up and whatnot and see how they look. But this is turned out pretty good. Pour very well.